doing it too. <laughs> And sometimes it's like critics, you know, what, 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 what's the deal? It's like, sometimes it, it's almost like they're offended by the fact that so many people would be enjoying something that they don't like. Maybe I can't know, you know, whether what I'm playing is shit or not, you know? But what am I supposed to do about that, you know? I mean, I think it's, I think it's great. <laughs> you know, and obviously the people in the audience do. The rest of that review, the guy says, uh, you know, they want to be like the Grateful Dead, but they're not. You know, and the Grateful Dead did this. That's what the other guy said at the end of that article. I kept reading. You know, he's like, you know, well, the Grateful Dead had this. I'm not the Grateful Dead. I don't care if the Grateful Dead had that, you know? There's aspects of the Grateful Dead that I love. There's aspects of, you know, Boston that I loved. But that's who, who I am, you know? I'm a child of, of the 70s, and, and that's kind of the point with, with people trying to be, oh, I'm going to be the next Jimi Hendrix. I'm going to be the next Jerry Garcia. Whatever. You're not. You're, you're 20 years younger. You didn't grow up listening to Del McCrory. You didn't grow up listening to blues. You grew up, I didn't, I'm saying this, but you know, going to a, a high school in New Jersey, you know, <laughs> or, you know, in eighth grade, I was in New Jersey, going to the mall, you know, and listening to what was on at the mall. And then I had to search out for, for some kind of depth, the, 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 the suburban white, <laughs> you know, kid is, uh, part of history, whether you like it or not, part of American music history. We are, take it or leave it. You know, it's, it's happening. So, uh, to those critics, I just have to say, if you don't like it, it's, that's tough shit, you know? Because we're, it's too late. <laughs> Here we come.